Hello everyone, this is Getting Crafty 101. Um, I'm just, it's going to be a resume reveal of the projects I've worked on this weekend. Uh, these items have not been glazed or sanded or anything like that yet. But here's some of them. The princess. We have all the different princesses. And have some hearts. Some of the white lips. Little jewelry pieces. And I love these. These turned out really good. I love that mold. It have to be glazed. These I messed up. The sticker was too big. So I kept having to go deeper in it. You see the top of them kind of dug in the sides. It's super thick. So this will just be something to lay around the house, I guess. And then I'm going to have these. I'm going to have to paint the back of them because I used black glitter. And as you can see, you can see through it. So I'm going to paint the back black to help color that in. And I did the, the jewels. More of the jewelry pieces. Think about filling in these little squares with a different, with like white, and see how it looks. And then I have some of these. And then more of my puzzle pieces. these little hearts I think they turned out good like I said they haven't been sand or anything just the heart inside the heart the candy in the middle and here's the Mississippi State little dog Prince oh and then I did the light switch cover and outlet and some more of the owls Then the University of Kentucky mold that I tried. It turned out really good. Then the Ohio State, these were a bear because the they were doing this. See how in the hole. So last night I was trying to clean that out while I was watching a movie. And I was using an X-Acto knife and let's see, where's my thumb? Can you see that cut there? I got about three of those on my hands. Don't carve with an exacto knife or however you say that. There's some Alabama ones. These are big. Mississippi State. No, excuse me, not Mississippi State. Ole Miss. And Auburn University. They kind of turned out more sherberty than. Hopefully, when they're glazed, they get a little better. And then this was my first tile. I was really excited about it. And it was also the first time I'd used Mod Podge. And the light's not very good in here. I'll try to get over here. But you can see around the edges, it looks like maybe I should have done two coats of Mod Podge. I don't, I don't know exactly what I did wrong. But I'm going to try to fix it. I don't know. Maybe make an outline of puff paint or I don't know. I'll figure something out. If not, you know. Can't hurt it any worse. Then, oh, and I did this. I think it's cute. I was going to do different colors in the different rows, but when I did the clouds, it started bleeding in and I couldn't stop it. So I thought, oh, I'll just make it go white all the way across, which it still turned out really cute. Some pieces that I have that I'm working on. And my cupcake. I mean, my snow cone. I love it. This is going to be cute. It's got the blue eyes and the nose and toenails so far, claws, whatever. 
I think I'm going to use this gold for the color form. I'm not sure yet. And then I was experimenting with something else. I don't know if y'all have heard of water marbling. I found this FW ink. I wanted to try to see if it would work, and it did. It worked really good. Now I just got to find the right paper. I was just using different papers I had around the house, and this one's really too thick, but uh, just to see what the ink would do. This is what it did. You see I didn't let the water settle there with it. I was just excited that the ink was actually floating and not going to the bottom of the bowl in a big blob like all the other inks I've, I've had do. And then um, I used just regular, regular old printing paper. You know, and this is what it turned into. I realized if you put it on a rack like this, since this is wet, the ink's going to go to that and it's going to put lines in it. Because, like, here's one I removed because I thought it wouldn't be as busy a background. And then I was like, the lines are still there. It's because the inks, you know, went to these little grooves when it was laying there. So that's a lesson learned. I think this is going to be really pretty. Y'all should, if you haven't heard of water marbling, you should definitely look it up on YouTube. It's really cool. But that's it. Just a short little video showing what. Came out of all my moles this weekend. Bye.